We're in Marin Headlands, part of the Golden Gate National Recreation Area, and it's a beautiful morning. We've just crossed the Golden Gate Bridge. We are walking on the trail that goes down to Kirby Cove, and we've come across some interesting looking stripey outcrops. These stripey outcrops are oceanic sediments. They consist of two main rock types. There's a blocky rock type called chert, and in between thin layers of shale. The shale weathers away more rapidly, so it makes the little hollows in between the chert layers. But the chert is tough. It's a really hard rock. It's really resistant to chemical degradation, and it pokes out of the outcrop because it's so tough. These chirts are radiolarian chirts, and what that means is that they are made of the dead bodies of little marine creatures called radiolaria. These are single-celled organisms that live in the water column, and they make a hard external skeleton out of silica, the same stuff that makes up quartz and glass. When they die, their little dead silica skeletons rain down to the seafloor where they build up in a thin layer of slime called silicious ooze. This silicious ooze, when it's buried, can turn into rock, this silica-rich rock called chert. The dead radiolaria can occasionally be identified in these chirts, and they tell us how old these chirts are. These are around 200 million years old, which is part of the Jurassic period of geologic time. So during the Jurassic, these rocks were deposited as sediment on the sea floor, the deep ocean, way offshore of modern day California. And since then, together with other oceanic rocks, they've been brought up and added on to the edge of the North American continent. 